Welcome everybody to another How It Works. Now, uh, I've got a new plugin called Variable Triggers, and that's a lot of key features that I think is really excellent and cool. Makes it, uh, it's like coding for Minecraft, but a little bit easier. Now, I guess this will be a video for all you code developers out there, like me, I love codes. And for everyone else, I bet you do not recognize this place because there is nothing in sight but this. It is going to be a creative world, hopefully going to get it, you know, working. Not 100% sure, so don't don't say like, oh, just he has a creative world now. I don't yet. But if it if I do, this is going to be it. What in the world is that ugliness? Okay, so with this plugin, you don't need this, you don't need that, you don't need any of this crap. It's all kind of wireless dibbity doo dah stuff. Now, what variable triggers allows you to do is um, take certain actions and turn them into a code. So, for instance, I can type a command that'll activate some. I can walk over a square. I can walk into, into or out an area, or I can click a button or pressure plate. Yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and briefly go through some of the commands or things you can do with them. Um, okay, so the first thing I want to go over is commands. You can do vt command. That's some other things we got. We'll do test. Hey, we'll do toggle block. We'll do probably stone. Stone. So stone naturally is one. Or at least I believe that's stone. I guess we'll find out. Now the the tool for this kind of like world edit is the wooden axe. This one is a bone. Well, by default, anyways, not bone now. So I'm gonna select it being this block. So when I do slash, well, did I do this wrong? Edit script line to trigger. Edit script line to trigger. What did I do wrong? Okay, we'll, we'll name this one test2, and we'll just toggle the block at the current location, which is right there, negative 53, 65, and 281, there, now if I do test2, it'll say that, and apparently I have no clue what I'm doing. I might have typed something wrong. Yes, I typed a ton of things wrong. We're going to try this one last time, and we're going to call this test 3, since I have messed up so horribly. No. No. Slash vt command remove test. Remove test 2. What was I thinking? Okay. Now, you can see how these can get really confusing and bad. I'm not going to make the same mistake right here. Okay, so now right-click with your own and select the block. Block selected. Trigger not found. Creating a new one. Okay, good. So now if I do slash test, boom, changes to stone. Slash test again, boom, deletes the block because it's toggling it. Test, 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 test. I can do that again. We'll, we'll call it test two. We'll just name it the next thing. We'll put another block there. Put it there. I wonder what two is. Test. Two. Oh, test two, you failed me. It's actually dirt. Test. Test two. Oh, it's so brilliant. VT. Oh, and you notice how it says unknown command? You can do VT command uh, override. And we'll do test uh, true. So now if we do test, it no longer says unknown command. Now we're going to do VT remove. And no, 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 no. Command remove. Dust. Dust too. Now you know what a command looks like. Commands can get really long, though. That was just one line of code. Uh, the RTD command so far has around ooh, 30 to 50 lines of code, depending on how far I take it. Um, let's see. What was I doing? Um, so, 
Okay, so another command you can use is vt walk, and that'll just put a script line to what you walk on. Walls you walked on meh. Now right click a block. Okay, so now every time you walk over that block, it'll be like walls you walked on me. It only says that in my chat because I use the command player. And if you wanted to do to everyone it you could do broadcast. Uh, I walked on yeah. VT walk remove. VT walker remove. Walk. Just walk. What am I doing wrong? There. Good. I didn't walk on anybody. The one of the last ones I wanted to show was um an area one. Let me just build a little thing real quick. Okay, so I built a little ring or whatever this is supposed to be. And I'm going to fill it up with these blocks. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to do VT set area. And this is a command uh, I'm going to be using a lot actually. Uh, hopefully you'll see it a little bit more inside the minigame plaza games and stuff like that. So now that we've done that we'll do VT define area test and yeah, new area created VT air area. We got test enter. Now, what we, what do we want it to do when we enter? We want to toggle block, and we'll use air. No, yes, okay. Enter script line at enter. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so now whenever we enter, those blocks disappear. It's pretty self-explanatory. Now, when we exit, we will use stone to put those blocks right back where they were. Okay, so now boom. Boom, boom, boom. Now if you fall, you can fall through this thing. And it'd be like, wow. Okay, it works. It's a trap. You can't notice it from the other side. You can't notice it from the above side. But it exists. VT area remove test. Enter and exit. Anyways, so those are some of the things you can do. You can also call sounds with it, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, for the most part, that's a lot of stuff, a lot of potential inside this plugin, especially when you can keep variables and stuff like that. Um, there's one other type of variable trigger that I didn't go over today, and that's event triggers, and that's basically it. I haven't used it, so I, I can't per se tell you exactly what it is. But as far as I know, it's when you break a block, or you place a block, or s take a step, I don't know. Something like that, but I that's all I know about it. Uh, maybe that'll enter name script lines. Yeah, it looks like it has to do with placing blocks and string box. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's kind of a strange one, seeing as it didn't have to do with how a game was made, more like how stuff will work in the future. Uh, I'm really excited about this plugin, and hope to see it in a lot of what I do. See you guys later. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye. See you later. Boop.